morning writers and creatives everywhere. This is Julie Duffy from storyaday.org and I am here to give you a little pep talk today. Most of the rest of this month I've been giving you writing prompts and that's all very well but we've reached the 16th today. 16th? Yeah the 16th today and you've been writing for a while now and the novelty's worn off and this can apply to any creative project more longer than about a, you know, 2,000 word short story. Anything that you're trying to do over a period of time. The novelty's worn off and you are starting to wonder if maybe you can't just take a day off. Would it matter? Why are you doing this anyway? Why are you putting yourself through all this? So today's pep talk is aimed at you. And really, if I'm going to be honest, I'll tell you the truth, this pep talk's aimed at me. I had to sit myself down yesterday and despite the fact that I'm the face of story a day and that I make you all do this, I don't make you do it, you make yourselves do it, but I'm the one who's your cheerleader. It gets to this point and I start to think, maybe I, you know, maybe I've got an excuse, I'm running the thing, maybe I don't need to write every day, maybe I can slack off. So. Then I started thinking about the future. Now, during story a day, I'm always big on don't worry about your audience, don't think too hard, don't try to write good stories, don't get hung up on what's gonna happen after this, just write your stories. And I think for the first couple of weeks that works really well. However, now that you've gotten into a rhythm of writing, you've written a whole bunch of stories. I mean, even if you've only written five stories this month, it's probably more than you wrote last month. So you've written a bunch of stories and, or you've done any other creative work and now the motivation is starting to slack a little bit, the novelty's worn off and, and you're wondering why you're doing it. So now is the time to take a little break, raise your head up out of the trenches and look forward and ask yourself, what do you really want from your writing? Now I asked myself this question and there's a multitude of answers. There's the whole, here's what I wrote. Um, I want to publish, I want to publish novels, get a massive fan base, make movie deals, let my husband uh, retire, establish, um, get publishing support to help me do all that from a traditional publisher and, and agent who can sell rights and make me rich. And I also want to be able to give talks and inspire people, kind of the way I do here, but reaching a broader audience. Um, not a broader audience, a, a bigger audience, because I want to reach everyone who needs to hear this. So that's my goal, right? Then I, I you know, just that, if that's my goal, then that can get a little frustrating, because clearly I'm not there yet. So I started thinking, well, what are the steps I need to take along the way to getting there? Willing to write and publish short stories to build my authority as a short story writer, expert, creativity person. It's all very well for me to sit here and tell you to write um, every day or write a story every day for a month, but there's part of me that feels like if I'm not doing that and if I'm not publishing, then I have no proof that I'm doing that and that erodes my authority a little bit. So that's my next goal is to try and start finding homes for some of these stories in the wider, wider world. So if that's, my, that's an, a, a smaller step than world domination, then is, is to write and publish stories and build my authority as a short story expert. So what's a smaller step than that? Because I'm not there yet either, because I haven't been sending stories out hugely. I've just been concentrating on writing them. So before I start sending out stories and getting published and building a reputation as someone who people can come to to get stories for anthologies or whatever they need, um, I have to have a body of short stories, of good short stories that I can work on and, and send out and um, have in my back pocket whenever an opportunity arises. But I'm not quite there yet either. So what's a smaller step than that? A smaller step than that is to write a lot of drafts. I want to have a stack of good short stories I can give out and, and send out to people. I have to have a stack of stories to start with and I have to have a stack of rough drafts before I can have a stack of good drafts and some of those rough drafts are going to fall away. So the smaller step is to actually write a lot of rough drafts 
that I can then revise and send out my next step and then build a reputation, my next step, then world domination. So looking forward to your goal and thinking about what you want from your writing is occasionally a very good idea because then you can say, okay, but what's the, what's the smaller step than that? And what's a smaller step than that? And what's a smaller step than that? And the smallest step you can get down to is actually sticking your butt in the chair and writing some words, even if it's a sentence. That's pretty much the smallest step you can take except for writing a letter or having an idea. So that was my big goal. Now your big goal might be different from mine. Your big goal might be just to, to build a fan base, be it build readership for your stories, in which case a smaller step might be to start building a mailing list of people who like to hear from you every time you release a story. And there are ways you can do that and we can talk about that um, maybe in June or July um, when we move on from the, the intense writing. A smaller step than building a, a mailing list of writers might be to find a few people, the first few readers, people who are interested in hearing about your stories. and. A smaller step than that might be to find a group of writers who will act as a critique group or as a um, an accountability group who say to you, okay, when's the next story coming? A smaller step than that might be just to show one story to one person for the very first time. There are people out there writing who have never yet done that. So if you haven't taken that, that's going to maybe a, a step that you need to take. If, this, if your goal is to build a readership for your, your writing, then the, this small step might be to build a list of people, then find a f before that find a few people, before that find a critique group, before that find one person to read one story. And of course what's the step before that? Write a story, polish it, get it out there. So another goal you might have might be to write a novel. This can still help you with the story a day challenge or the current whatever you're working on at the moment because writing a novel needs a set of smaller steps. You can write smaller parts of your novel. You can start to write short stories, which you've been doing for a month, but you can look at the, this month of short stories as a way to enhance your ability to create short stories from beginning to middle to end, to do that arc, to do the character development, to try all of the things that we're walking you through with character development and um, rescue days and everything that I'm trying to trying to share with you in story a day. So if you're a novelist that your goal is to write a novel, you're going to write some some short stories, some longer short stories to help you figure out how to do storytelling well and characterization. So a smaller step than that is to write a lot of tiny stories which helps you find the voice you're most comfortable with and helps you just with the the discipline of getting your backside into the chair every day or more days than not. You can also be using short stories to build backstory for your characters. If you're working on a novel or want to work in a novel in the future, use this time to help you get towards that goal. I don't want Story A Day to be this meaningless exercise where you are simply getting bragging rights, although if that's what you want, that's fine too. But if you are trying to develop your writing, please, please use Story A Day. Take today and think about your long, your larger goals as a writer. And whether it's world domination, whether it's writing a novel this year, or whether it's simply finding and share, finding some people you can share your stories with, keep that in mind to revitalize your story month. Think about the smaller steps that you need to take to get to your larger goal. And as you look at it, come down smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until you get back to the part where you have to write some stories. That's the smallest step. Some computer, I'm having some phone problems here. Let me just see if that helps. So anyway, I hope this has, has inspired you. Um, I hope that you, having reached the 16th, don't you feel like you're kind of on a downward slope now? We're on our way down to the end of the month. If you've, if you've turned up, even if you haven't written every day this month, if you've turned up and are still writing and are still striving, then you are winning. 
Now keep turning up until the end of the month. Think about your long-term goals and how you can use the rest of this month to help you get there. Check in at the community, let people know how you're getting on, ask for help if you need a pep talk from someone else. And um, as always, keep writing. Come on over to storyaday.org and join in the conversation there and um, keep writing. This is Julie Duffy for storyaday.org.